In this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the latest version of WooZone, or WZone as it's also known. In this version, uh, which is version 12, there is a brand new feature that allows you to import products from Amazon onto your site without the need for an API key. Now this version is a huge improvement on the previous versions where you could import without an API key, but you had to use the Chrome browser extension, you had to navigate on Amazon to each product that you wanted to import, click the button, wait for it to import, and then move on to the next one. In this version, you can basically do a search within the WooZone control panel, queue up a load of products, and import them that way. Very much the same way as we have been doing with the API keys. So this is really exciting news for those of you that have been struggling to get hold of an Amazon API key since Amazon changed the terms and just basically made it pretty much impossible for new uh, affiliates to get hold of one. So fingers crossed that it works as advertised. And let's get on the computer and take a look. So I'm over at Bow wow Tech. .co.uk, which is one of my WooZone Amazon affiliate websites. Uh, I'm already logged in, so let's get into the dashboard. And go into WooZone. So this site is already running version 12, 12.3b to be precise. And in version 12, we've got this section here, which is the NoPA API keys, which should in theory allow us to import products from Amazon when we don't have API keys. So let's test it out. So I'm gonna click Import Products. And it's now asking me to install the WooZone Direct Import Chrome extension, so let's do that. Oh, I've already got it installed, but look, I just need to enable it, so let's do that. Okay, that's done. If you obviously haven't installed it, you'll just need to click the button up here which will say Install and then you're done. Uh, let's refresh this page. So it's now asking for the um, license code that you find over on Code Canyon. It tells you exactly where you'll find it. Basically, go into the download section and then uh, in the license certificate, you'll find a number. Mine's already in there, so let's click unlock. Now we're ready to go. So I'm going for the UK. I want something in the pet department. And what should we go for? How about a nice dog ball? Something simple. Let's search products, I'm just gonna leave that unfeatured. Here we go, we've got some lovely dog balls here. So let's add these. Eight, there we go. Oh, I've just clicked the product, there we go. Can have a look, no worries. Yeah, I'll do to start, that's four, eight, that's 12 products. So here are the products that we've just selected. You can import them as simple products or variable products. Um, I don't imagine that many of these have got variables, but um, we'll go, we'll stick with simple. Things like clothes and stuff often have variable uh, attributes to them, like size and color. So I don't have any images, 20 is probably fine. Uh, import the attributes, you can spin them on import as well if you'd like, uh, might as well. And uh, let's import these into uh, dog fitness, that kind of makes sense. Let's click import, and off it goes. That seems to be working okay. Let's just give it some time. So that's all done. We can check the logs by clicking on the individual products. We can view the product by clicking here. And there we go, it looks good. Got the image, We've got the description. All seems good. So that seems to work really well, and you know that's gonna really help you guys that are struggling to get hold of your Amazon API keys. So going back, I wanna do a little test on a variable product just to see if that works as well. So let's do a search for a nice dog coat. Okay, let's find one that we haven't already imported. What 
what have we got here? A lot of these have, well, this one looks okay. Let's try, oh, this camo one, let's try that. So I wanna try the variable product uh, setting. Turn up the number of variations to 99 to make sure that we get all of them. We'll spin it, why not? And let's put that into, uh, what do you think, dog walking. Let's go. Okay, seems to work, let's have a look. There we go. And then we've got the different patterns, camo, bow knot, and then we've got the sizes. And look, it even changes the image as well, depending on the pattern that we go for. So that is working perfectly, which is really good. I mean, let's see if we can check out as well. Be a good thing to do. Okay, it's added to the cart. Oh, I've got some other stuff. Let's take out this other stuff. And then let's proceed to the checkout. There it is. So that seems to work really well. So that brings the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. Do leave your questions and comments below. I read every single comment that I get and I'll try and reply to as many as I possibly can. Be sure to subscribe by clicking on the eagle. Do check out my vlog channel. There's a couple more videos chosen especially for you. And by the way, I'm gonna be doing a full length tutorial on how to create a complete website using this new version of WooZone really soon. Until next time, bye for now.